You did not tell me this was an R-rated class. You turn around like this because of the lights. <gasps> It's gonna be either with both of us gonna die on the line. Cause I'm ready to run into the lab because I have a black man blood in me. Hi guys, welcome back to Wako's Review, the only reviewer in Nigeria that is not fighting over tissues. Because he <laughs> uses paper. Yes, that, that was disgusting and that was the point. That's how we are going to start it today. Subscribe if you are new, please like this video. And okay, I don't know, ro rolling through. I know some of you saw the length of this video and were shocked. Like, how can Prince, the guy that talks too much, post a short review? There's a reason, guys, and I'll get to that later. But because of how limited the review is, I can only talk about the big three characters, and that is yeah, Tiwa, Didi, and that babe that I forgot her name. What, what's her name again? Guys, guys, what's her name again? For Didi, she's still doing what she knows best. I don't know, men. I don't know, that's what she's always doing. Just men. There's nothing else. She can't date this guy because she feels his attention will be split between her and his kids. And she wants all the attention to herself. Yes. That's what she's doing. Looking for attention. Nothing else. I don't... Nothing else, actually, I swear. <laughs> At first, Tiwa was still doing that whole attitude thing that no one seems to like again. I, I kid you not. Anytime anyone sees her now, we all go like this. Oh, oh, oh no, she's back. Ah, oh, oh, she's denying him again. Oh, oh, okay. That's what she's still doing after all this while. Why? What's wrong with her? Like, we're tired. That is the thing. And don't get me wrong, we don't dislike her because of her newfound rudeness. We actually dislike her because she's obviously depriving my guy <laughs> of sex. <laughs> That's why I told him, leave her. If she's not giving you the thing, leave. There are more fish, fishes in the, in the water. You see, I, I said boats just because I don't know if it is fish or fishes. And I'm... Everybody in my house is just too far away for me to ask. I don't want to waste your time going to and ask them. So, if you know it is fish or fishes, just take it like that. That's why I, I gave you two options. Yes, this is not a review anymore. It's multiple choice examination. You are writing your your jam, but why am I still talking? As that was happening, we see the babe that everyone thinks Midi and her will surely do something. <laughs> So she came to inspire Tiwa with the whole tough times don't last forever, but tough people do. And Tiwa was like, they shut the hell up. Who are you? Tiwa finally tells her story on the air, exposing what really happened to her. And she also let me they smash. That doesn't mean anything still though. I'm happy for him. But I still think he's going to sleep without that girl. Did you know, yeah? She's tough. She's a tough girl. Guys love tough girls. <laughs> I love tough girls. <laughs> Shalewa, ah, is that not her name? Yeah, that's her name now. She goes for this art school and sees this guy again standing naked. And I knew he was doing porn. He's a scumbag. And I've said this thing since the beginning and nobody cared about it. He comes out of the class to justify his business by calling it art. I don't know, brother. That is not, you, you can never be art. I am art. I know me. My channel is art. You guys draw me, yeah? This is me. Don't even question it at all. That is me. <laughs> Episode 7 for Chalewa can be called Catching the Predator. At one end, we saw a guy stand naked in the midst of women. And at the other end, we saw a guy that used to be Chalewa's ex rush her with kisses. Without her consent. Can you hear the siren? Yes. The police should arrest all of you guys. Scumbags. <laughs> I'm so pissed. <laughs> but guys, guys, help me here. What did I ever do to... And I need to deserve this. Like, like really, what, what's going on? Do, do you guys hate me? If you do, just tell me. Tell me. If you guys think I'm making all this hatred up, 
Look at the last scene of episode 7. They had this long scene of Shalewa and this guy that just shows that Indani doesn't rate me. You guys, you don't rate me. If they did, they would never... This, this would never happen. And this scene lasted for so long. At least show the end credit now. We are tired, eh? Now you are showing the end credit after we've seen that thing, eh? Really? Really? She begins to like him and proceeds to visit him. They talk on some things that I did not even bother to listen to because I, I watched this part on mute. Yes, come and beat me in my house. And then this happened. I'm done. No more expectations for me. You saw my review coming. You knew I wouldn't like this kiss. Well, you guys still did it. <laughs> you guys can do it on my reviews now. Bye, guys. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you for watching, guys. I need to give a shout out to Iroko Critic for working on the audio. I had to outsource the audio to him. Then he sent it back after he corrected all my mistakes because I made a lot of mistakes recording this video or this audio. Do you understand? Then I have to thank again Chuchi's mind. Her name is Teresa. She's a YouTuber. I think I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description. You guys should check them out because um, they really helped me and they gave and she gave me like the advice that I should edit this my review on iMovie on a phone. It's probably the most stressful thing. I think I would have done. But guys, this is now my problem. This is why I have not posted in a while. So, <laughs> this is very funny. Get ready, about to laugh. So all this while, I have been editing from somewhere else. And because of quarantine or quarantine, I can't post any videos again. I can't actually edit. That's why the last video I posted was edited by my very good friend, Iroko Critic. His channel is linked in the description. Please help him get to 100 subscribers. Thank you very much. But um, that was my problem. I could not, I could not edit and I could not post even till now. I can't still edit and I cannot still post. I've never done this before, and this doesn't even mean anything. It's just for the people that probably care or probably want to help. I know times are hard, but I'm planning on starting a Patreon where people just pay me for extra details or extra additional. I don't know information about my videos. Probably they get this, they get the script, the rough script that has a lot of errors in it, and they just pay because I'm trying to get a home system, and but it's expensive. It's pretty expensive. Um, but I went live the other day and I said that I wanted to start like a GoFundMe to raise money to buy a new home system, and someone called. My job abroad. <laughs> I also link her channel down. Messaged me in the DM and actually sent me twenty thousand naira. First of all, I am not used to getting things from people, but I was. It just shocks me that like people want to help money wise. Like I don't even know if I have even helped anybody money wise on YouTube, but just the fact that people want to help me. Or someone went out of their way to like the hard end money to send to me it means a lot um, and she did not do it because she wanted me to follow her back or give her a shout out she probably did not even know i did this thing she'll be shocked but please check her out her channel is also linked in the description please if you are going to help me with the patreon and help me get the system uh, please comment down below if you are not going to help it's totally fine do you understand like I don't hate you at all, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably make a video when all these things, uh, when all these things is done, a well-edited video about like the introduction to the Patreon and everything. But if you're going to be willing to help, thank you very much. I appreciate. I love everybody. All right, so that's it. I don't know. Question of the day: Did you expect me to hate Chalewa? Yes, you probably did. <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch ourselves on the next one. Bye. How was you calling? Hello, hello. This is Prince coming to you from Southside, the Southside, Southside.
So I'm just checking your pictures. Number one is a headshot of you lying down wearing a danshiki. Uh, when it comes to style, I, I give this a zero because who still.